Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards what awaits for you in love for the week of November 22nd to November 28th, 2021. I'm going to take a look at your energy Aquarius and then I'm going to take a look at the energy of your person, whoever it is that you are dealing with and connecting with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Sorry for the noise. Somebody just started mowing the, mowing the lawn. Just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. Also, I wanted to say that if this reading resonates with you, I will put a link below this video that will take you to the extended reading if you are interested. All right, let's take a look at your energy, Aquarius. Alright Aquarius, first card we have is the Knight of Swords in Reverse, the Ten of Swords Upright, the Empress card, the Page of Wands, the Ten of Cups in Reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles, the Death card in Reverse. Again, sorry for the noise guys, and don't worry if you can't handle it, I will completely understand. Alright, let's take a look here, what is your energy? So I do feel like you're kind of waiting for some sort of um, opportunity here, uh, Aquarius. There is some sort of ending here with the Ten of Swords. Um, you might be waiting for someone to um, return back to you, Aquarius. I feel like this is you. This is your energy, the Empress. I feel like you're feeling really confident about yourself. You're feeling very, like... Um, very grounded in your energy you're like you're like in control of yourself i feel like your um your standards are very high also yeah i think you're waiting for someone to come back towards you if they want to because i feel like you're not going to be chasing anyone so you're waiting for someone to to offer you an apology or to offer you their love, offer you a new beginning and commitment. You're waiting for someone to message you. I feel like you're waiting for someone also to repent. You know, to to realize um, their mistake in regards to this ending here. The Death card in reverse and the Ace of Swords. I do feel like you want to communicate with someone with the Ace of Swords, but it's like you're not going to lower your standards, you know, you're not going to lower your self-worth. You know, no, as much as you might want this pentacle, this Ace of Pentacles, um, yeah, you're, you're in control of, of, of your feelings, of your emotions, and you're not just going to go chasing after, you know, anything, you know, whatever it is that glitters in front of you, that is glittering in front of you. Like this Ace of Pentacles is all like shiny and glittery. I feel like you've learned from past experiences and you're being a lot more smarter this time around. All right, let's take a look at the energy of your person now. Spirit, angels, and guides, show me the energy of the person Aquarius is connecting to in love. Thank you. All right, first card Aquarius is... 
We have the King of Cups in reverse, the King of Pentacles upright, the Five of Pentacles upright, the Sun, the Knight of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Judgment card in reverse. Okay. Interesting energy your person has here. I do feel like they're being emotionally clo closed off with the King of Cups in reverse. Um, I also feel like they're pretending here or faking. Um, they're, they're pretending that they have it all together. They're pretending that they're in control, that they don't need anyone, that they're self-sufficient, that they're independent. But in reality, I feel like that's not the truth. They're not as together as they make themselves to be. Um, I do see that this person has feelings for you with the Knight of Cups and with the Sun card. There's a lot of passion and attraction. Um, but I do feel like this person also has a big ego. And I feel like they're not going to... They're not going to be extending themselves out to you. They want a second chance, though. But with the Seven of Swords, I feel like they're being very um, secretive here. They're, they're trying to get a reaction out of you. That's what they're trying to do. They're trying to provoke a reaction out of you. They're trying to entice you to, to come towards them and to um, make a move towards them. They're kind of playing a game, pretty much playing a little bit of a game here trying to um seduce you you know towards them seduce you and and um captivate you entice you mm -hmm. they want to make it they're making it seem like they have it they have it all you know they're trying to make themselves attractive yeah they they, they might be showing off also with the sun card they want they want you to see how well they're all, how well they're doing and how much they have but it's all a show you know they just want to um kind of bait you you know it's kind of like clickbait basically yeah cuz i do feel i i can or i do see that this person has strong feelings for you so they definitely don't want to lose you mm. There might have been a third party situation for some of you. Um, there definitely was some sort of big ending here, but I feel like this person has been um, tormented here with the Nine of Swords. They've been feeling very tormented. They feel like they made the wrong choice for sure. They feel like they took you for granted. You know, I think you gave them an opportunity, and I feel like they they didn't take advantage of that opportunity and i feel like they're regretting it you know but i do see that they they really want to be with you but they're trying to kind of you know um get get you to or push you to to be the first one to make a move towards them and i think you're doing the same thing to them actually so i feel like you two are kind of playing the same game towards each other All right, Aquarius, so if this um, resonated with you, you can follow me um, with the extended link, with the extended re uh, reading. Um, and I will take a look at what are this person's real feelings for you, what are their real intentions, and what actions will they take towards you by the end of the week, okay? Um, so thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if it resonated, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.